Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is a little different. I'm sure all of you know what cocoa bombs are and they're so popular during Christmas time. And I came across this idea on TikTok and I loved it. So I had to try it and share with you as well. And I think I'm going to make my cocoa bombs like this this year. So these are the ones that are going to be in my cocoa bar. So you guys are going to see it later on in other videos. But if you want to see how I made this, just keep on watching. To make this, you're going to start off with a bag of candy melts. The instructions on how to melt these are in the back. I just put them in a glass cup here and I put a little bit of vegetable oil. You could also use coconut oil. This just smooths it out a little bit so it's not so clumpy. But be careful, don't add too much oil because it'll be too runny, I guess. But if that happens, just add a few more candy melts on top and it should fix the problem. So here I was trying two cups. I tried the tiny um, plastic cup from Dollar Tree and I'm also going to go in with these paper cups that I've also picked up from Dollar Tree. They come 20 in a pack. In the video, she does use the mini Dixie cup and they're paper cups. So the goal here is to use paper cups because they're easy to rip off. That red one ended up being a disaster. So definitely skip out on that one. I just left that in a video so that way um, nobody goes and buys the red ones thinking that it's going to work. So for this project, paper cup is a must. Now I'm doing the same thing to this cup. I'm going to swirl it around and before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. Now be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I upload videos like this one. Now I'm going to leave it aside. By the way, candy melts um, harden faster in the fridge, so you could put it in the fridge between each coat. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I did end up putting two coats in the cup. So that way the chocolate is thick and it doesn't break or crack when I'm trying to peel the cup. Now to make the delicious lid with the topping, I'm going to just have a little drawing or like a guideline of how big my cup is. So I'm going to dip in another cup and put it on parchment paper. And now I know how big my lid needs to be. And I'm going to fill that in with chocolate and add my toppings. Is it just me or am I talking way too fast today? I may have accidentally licked the spoon a few times. <laughs> so let me know if I'm talking a little too fast today. I'm kind of worried here. And here I'm just adding some mini marshmallows. You can definitely put sprinkles. You can put uh, break up a candy cane and put that on top. And um, here I'm just adding a straw, but that's definitely optional because I know someone's going to ask me what happens when you drop that into the cup or the milk. And don't worry, I asked myself the same question when I saw the video, <laughs> but I think it adds a little pop. So you can definitely skip out on the straw. <laughs> she just had it that way and I loved how it looked. So I just added the straw as well. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to sprinkle in some more chocolate and I'm going to do a second layer of marshmallows. So that's going to act like glue so I can put more marshmallows in there. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to put that and caramel syrup on top as well. So yeah, so just get creative with this part and let it all dry. So I had this in a fridge so it can quickly dry, but look how easy this is to come off. So whenever we're ready to put it all together, this should come off very easily. It should not be hard at all to get off the parchment paper. If it is, you know it's not ready yet. But here I cut a little piece with scissors from my cup after it's completely dry. Notice my cup is not wet at all in there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to peel the paper off now. And yes, when I was buying these paper cups, I did notice that they have lines on, on them, but I don't mind with that look at all. So if you really want a smooth cup, you're going to have to find those Dixie cups. And I'm sorry, I couldn't find them at all, but I still had to share this idea with you. I loved it. Now it's time to put in the cocoa mix. 
And with the spoon again, I'm just going to put some chocolate around the cup and that should take care of the lid. It's going to close and stay in place. It's not going anywhere. So now I'm just taking it, covering our cup here and that's pretty much it. It's ready to be used. Drop it in some milk and hot milk and you're done. Just stir it up. And remember, you don't have to put that straw in there. I wondered the same thing. <laughs> what will happen to the straw after we drop it in the cup? So definitely you can skip out on the straw but um but yeah i just like the way the display it looks like here but yeah so you can definitely skip on that but let me know what you think down in the comments i definitely love this idea and this is what i'm going with this year and yep let me know what you think down in the comments i'd love to hear from you and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun diys and be sure to share with your friends thank you all for watching stay safe and i'll see you all next time bye